Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I thought I'd just give you guys a quick update on the Track Evo 8 build and where it's at. In the previous videos, you saw that we installed a Mishimoto front mount intercooler kit, a Turbo Smart race port blow off valve, a Hypertune exhaust manifold, and then we drove the car up to Sydney for Powertune to install the Bulletproof Racing twin in tank fuel pump hanger and lines. While it was that Powertune, they installed a Turbo Smart fuel pressure rig, Plasma Man fuel rail. Bosch 1650cc injectors and also two aeromotive fuel pumps at the back there. So the car made 330 kilowatts at 30 psi which I thought was pretty good. Remember we're not after power, we're after reliability. The engine is pretty much stock, we're only running um, cams and cam gears. We're still running the OEM head gasket and head studs so we didn't want to stress out the motor too much while we're on the racetrack. If it does give out on the racetrack then we'll start looking at upgrading components. All right, so in this video, I'll just be doing a quick unboxing video of my new DBA 5000 series two-piece rotors and my racing Elige brake pads that will be thrown on the Evo. All right, guys, so here's the disc out of the packaging. First impressions, um, yeah, it looks good. Looks like a solid unit. Um, the reason why I went with the DBA brand was um, they're pretty well known in Australia for their um, rotors. They got their trademark kangaroo paw ventilation in here. Um, they got these markings for uh, to indicate your heat on the rotor. So these will change colors. Um, the reason why I wanted the two-piece rotor was purely for the um, mechanical and performance um, advantages of it all. Um, being an aluminium hat dissipates the heat better. Obviously when you're braking, this whole, this is gonna get really hot and you're gonna put a whole lot of heat onto that wheel bearing. So hot and cold, hot and cold, and that wheel ring is just gonna get worn. So that's one of the reasons why I chose a two-piece rotor. And obviously the maintenance aspect of it all, I'll just replace the outer um, rotor and I can keep the center. See the little ventilation holes there? Just replace these bolts as the, the warning tells us to, gives us a part number. Okay, so here they are, the Elise Racing Brake Pads. Uh, part number ZA04. And they're called the uh, KT Triple Ones. It's a nice looking pad, looks pretty thick. Um, yeah, time attack cars in Australia use them, so it should be pretty good. Can't wait to put them on with the DBA rotors. All right guys, so that's a quick unboxing video of a couple of new goodies that we got for the Evo 8. Um, I'm gonna do a how to install the this and pads video uh, in the next couple of days. So if you wanna see that, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.